if i switch to my black brush and i brush you can see i'm moving some parts of the image like this but if i switch to my white brush and i paint you see i'm bringing those parts back of the image so this is how you refine the edge of your image to get that perfect selection hello youtube tune here and welcome back to another amazing video and in this video i'm going to be showing you guys how i cut out subjects from the background without further ado let's get started you can see i've already retouched this image let me just zoom in these are before and these are after so what i want to do right now i want to remove the subject from this background and to do that i have to create a stamp visible layer to merge everything i just did in a new layer so i'll just click on my ctrl shift alternate e to merge everything i just did in the stamp visible layer you can see this is the stamp visible layer i just created so next i'm going to do i'm going to select my subject right now and i can use the pen tool to select i can use the um, quick selection tool i can use the polygonal lasso tool but i prefer using the quick selection tool just make my workflow easier so i'll just come to my toolbar click on my quick selection tool right here i click on select subject and photoshop is automatically going to select my subject for me and sometimes photoshop do a great job and sometimes photoshop does not do a great job just depend on your image so for this image you can see photoshop did a pretty nice job for me and it's because the subject is clearly visible and the subject is clearly separated from the background as you can see but if you look at this area right here you can see photoshop did not select this area for me and i'm going to show you guys how to manually make a selection just in case photoshop did not select the um, whole subject for you so i want to add the part of this are close to the selection and to do that you can also use the pen tool but i'll be using the polygonal lasso tool so just come back to my toolbar and click on polygonal lasso tool right here you can use the normal lasso tool or you can use the polygonal lasso tool but for using this polygonal lasso tool so i'll just click on it and i'll just zoom in and to zoom in you can hold z on your keyboard and just zoom in or you can hold control and click on the plus and minus key on your keyboard to zoom in and out so i want to add this part to the selection after picking my polygonal lasso tool i'll just click on my shift and as you can see this icon right here has turned to plus so once you see this icon turn to plus just click and take your hands off shift and just click and drag like this keep clicking and dragging like this if you did not click and drag it's going to be like this so to create a point just click and drag to create a point like this because if you do not click it's just going to be straight it's just going to be on the straight line so click keep clicking and dragging like that so i'm just going to undo that and right now i'm going to add this part to the selection so i'll come back to my polygonal lasso tool hold shift click on shift take my hands off shift click and drag like this click and make a selection of here i want to select like this click and make a selection like that and once i'm done i'll come back to where i started and just click ok as you can see i take this one inside like this because i want to add this part to the selection that's why i take it inside like this because if i just take it if i take it outside let me just show you something if i take it outside like this like this and i come back to this place i'm adding this part to the selection which i don't want so to add remember to hold shift once you see the plus icon click and drag to make a selection and once you make a selection to where you want to select make sure you take it inside and just come back to where you started and just click on it once like that so you can see i've added that place to the selection and also i want to add this place to the selection as well i'll pick my polygonal lasso tool again click press on my shift press on shift on my keyboard click once i see the plus icon once i click once i'll take my hands off shift and just click and make a selection of where i want to add and bring it inside and click here again like this i hope you understand so let's say i want to minus the selection for my hair or the selection is a part of the image which i don't want the selection to be all i have to do is hold my alternate and you can see this minus icon as shown so i just press alternate on my keyboard once i see that minus sign i'll just click and make a selection of where i want to remove from the selection like this 
and once i've successfully made the selection i'll come back to where i started from and just click on it once like this as you can see i've moved ahead from this selection now let's say i want to add back ahead to the selection make a selection of the hair like this make sure you are gently with this selection don't rush it just take your time to do it because this is how you get that perfect selection that will make your image look realistic we are still going to refine the edge but make sure you get this part right first before we proceed so i'll just make a selection of the hair like this and um, once i'm done i'll come back to where i started from and i'll just click like this as you can see i've added the hair to the selection again so what you should know right now is shift is to add um a place to a selection why alternate is to remove from the selection once you press shift on your keyboard you can see the plus icon it means you can add a selection and once you press alternate on your keyboard you can see the minus icon it means you are going to remove a place from the selection so that's all you should know for this step right now so next thing i'm going to do right now after making the selection i'm just going to click on my layer mask to cut my subject out of the background so once i turn off on my background layer you can see it's many just the subject the reason why i added the layer mask is so that i can have more control over my selection so let me just turn off my background layer like this so once i turn my background layer off the next thing i'm going to do right now i'm just going to refine the edges of this image so to do that i'll come to my layer mask i'll double click on it it's going to open this new tab for me right here so the next thing i'm going to do i'll come to my radius i'll just pick a pixel of about one or i can just click on smart radius if i want to but for the sake of this tutorial, i'm just going to click on radius one and next i'm going to do because looking at this edge you can see the edges are rough so i'm just going to smoothen the edges and to do that i just click i'll just come to my global refinement under my global refinement i'll see smooth i'll just bring my smooth up to about 34 or 45 then i'll leave my feather then i'll add a little bit of contrast to this image to the edges rather so i'll just add a little bit of contrast to the edges like this like seven is okay then i'll click on okay so if i zoom right now you can see how smooth the edges right now you can see how smooth they are looking so after that i just want to refine the hair because you can see the selection of the hair are not perfect and let's say you are retouching an image or you want to cut out an image that, that has hair all you have to do is double click on your layer mask again if you are using the latest version of photoshop you are going to see refined hair too up here like this but if you are using an older version like me just come to this um your refine edge tool right here click on it and just drag on the hair edges like this on the edges of your hair so if you have an image that has hair just do it like this and you are going to get a perfect selection of the hair like that and once you are done i think i'll be doing it for here as well okay and once you are done just click on ok as you can see i've lost some pixels right here so i'm just going to bring those pixels back and to do that because i have a layer mask i can just pick my normal brush tool black is to hide and white is to reveal since my mask is black i'll make sure my foreground color is on white and you can tangle between white and black with this icon right here or you can click on x on your keyboard and if you have another color right here all you have to do is click on d to bring it to the default which is black and white so just click on d or your keyboard and it's going to turn to default black and white so with my um foreground color as white i'll just paint on this place with my normal brush to make sure my flow is on 100 opacity is on 100 as you can see i'm bringing those pixels back like that if i switch to my black brush and i brush you can see i'm moving some parts of the image like this but if i switch to my white brush and i paint you see i'm bringing those part back of the image so this is how you refine the edge of your image to get that perfect selection so you just take your time don't rush it and just refine the edge like that and make sure to increase and decrease your brush according to the place you are working on so if i want to work on the edge like this i'll just reduce my brush to the lowest um size as possible so that i'll get that perfect selection and you don't have to rush and you don't have to rush this step make sure you take your time to do it because if you rush it you will not have a perfect selection
now i feel the selections are perfect let me just add a little pixels here i feel i lost some pixels here and i'll just remove some from here like this right now after making your selection and you feel your selection is okay and mind you you can always refine your edge so just take your time to refine the edge so next i'm going to do right i'm just going to bring the background i want to use for this image to photoshop right now so that i can further more refine the edge if i need to so to do that i'll just come to my file i'll click on place embedded so as i click on place embedded i'll come to my download because the file is on my download and um this is the background i want to use and i'll just click on place So once i place it i'm just going to resize it so i'll come to my move tool and you're going to see this edge if you don't see this here just click on ctrl t to bring these edges right here and i'll just hold alternate and just drag like this and i'll make sure i get the perspective right because if your perspective is not right the image is going to look fake so make sure your perspective is right is very important and once i'm done i'll click on ok you can see the subject is not visible right now it's because this background layer is on top of my subject so to do that i'll just drag my background layer down below my subject like this and my subject is going to be on top of the background layer like this now you can see this is perfect but i feel the perspective is not right so i'm just going to come to my subject i'm just going to bring my subject down a little bit and reduce my subject like this to make it fit and i'll come to the background again I'll just increase the background like this to make it fit so just get your perspective right that's how you get a good um image after changing the background so i feel it's okay like this and right now i'm just going to zoom in and see if i have to fix anything on this um image so i'll just check i'll just check my edge to see if i have to fix anything but right now i don't think i have to fix anything because i feel this image is perfect like this so this is how you perfectly cut out your subject out of the background in photoshop i hope you learned something for this video if you do leave a like and let me know in the comment section i'll see you guys in my next video stay creative